Okay, so for the Accord Sport, you have your powered seats, your 12-way powered seats. So you can move it back, forward, up, down. And then this will move the back of your seat back, the back of your seat forward. And then here you have your four-way one bar support that you can feel supporting you when you're sitting. And then down here, you have your sport pedals. Okay, so for the Accord Sport, you have your weather wrap steering wheel and your weather wrap shift knob. And then also you have your paddle shifters right and left, plus and minus. Okay, so you have your new touch screen on the Accord Sport. So if you want to go to the radio, you can just click FM. Just turn the volume down. And then at this point, you have your channel presets. So if you wanted to add some, you can just press and hold. And then from here, you can add more by hit pressing and holding. And if you go back from here, if you wanted to tune to a certain station, you can either use the tuner here to tune you, or you can just click tune here. And then from here, if you wanted to go to a station, let's say 92.3, like earlier, hit enter. And then at this point, if you wanted to make that a channel preset, what you have to do is press and hold on one of the presets. So if I press and hold, you can see 92.3 pop up. And then from this point, if you click the home button, I'll bring you back to the home screen. Another thing that I like to show people is that if you go to the settings, this is where you can access your vehicle settings. So if I click vehicle, and then go down to door and window setup. From this point, you have all your door lock settings that we filled out on your personalized settings worksheet. So if you ever wanted to come in here and change any of the settings, you can do that there. And then on the right hand side, you gain some buttons here. You have clock. So if I click clock, it brings you to the clock face. And then from here, if you click settings on the clock, you can change the day and time. You can change the type of clock faces you have, all that stuff. And then from here, if I click audio, it'll bring me right to the radio. And then source will also change your radio source. Okay, so for the new touch screen, you're gonna have a new way to pair your phone. So what you're gonna have to do is take your phone out like before, uh, go to the settings tab on your phone or you know the general settings. From there, navigate to something called either Bluetooth or connections or something like that. And then from there, what you're gonna have to do is click phone here click connect phone and then from this point click connect new new device make sure your bluetooth is on and discoverable so what that means is you're going to have to be open to the bluetooth screen so you can view like the previous devices that have been connected and then from this point if you click ok something called hands-free link should pop up in your uh device connections on your phone and you can just tap hands-free link okay so once you've tapped hands-free link on your phone, it's gonna prompt you to, with a six digit pairing code that you're gonna have to hit pair. And then it's gonna ask if you wanna sync your contacts. And then at this point, the Honda Link Assist setting that's showing on your screen, basically it's, uh, it's a setting. So in the event of a collision, let's say your phone goes flying so you can't get to it to call 911. Essentially what Honda will do is, is use the Bluetooth connection on your phone to connect you either to a call center or the closest police station so at that point, you're gonna be sp uh, speaking to first responders over the speakers of your car. And this is a completely free service that Honda offers. It's not a subscription service or anything. So most customers enable it. And this is just giving your phone audio permission. So it'll be able to play music and then phone call permissions. So there you go, your iPhone's connected. So if you click home and then go to phone from there, you can view all your contacts if you've synced your contacts. And then if you wanted to play something over the radio, you can go to FM. And once you've clicked FM, you can just tap source. And then from there, select your Bluetooth audio source. And then from there, you can play anything over you that you want over your phone, over your car radio. Okay, so for Apple CarPlay on the Accord, you wanna be plugged into this USB outlet with that little smartphone icon. So if you're plugged into any other USB port on the car, then Apple CarPlay won't work. You have to be plugged into that one. And then once you're plugged into your phone, just make sure your phone is unlocked. And then from there you can proceed. Okay, so to set up Apple CarPlay, what you have to do is plug your iPhone charger into your iPhone while it's unlocked. 
And then at this point, it's gonna prompt you with this screen here. And this is just your iOS terms of service. This is that long list of agreements that you have to agree to when you initially buy your iPhone. So if you just hit always enable, it'll never prompt you with this screen again. This is the same Honda Link Assist setting that we went over earlier. And then smartphone connection will turn into Apple CarPlay and then it boots you right into Apple CarPlay. So right here it has your navigation app. It has some of the locations that you can visit. And then this is the now playing tab. So if you have a podcast or music or an audiobook playing, then it'll show you the album cover, the title of the song and the artist here. And then at this point, this is the main screen for Apple CarPlay. So you can either hit the home button here, or at this point you can just swipe in between screens. And here you have all your apps on your phone. So if I were to click phone and then contacts, it'll have all your contacts, just how they are on your phone. So you'll be able to click on a contact and then it'll bring up their phone number and then you'll be able to hit call. And now if you wanted to use the Maps app or whatever navigation app that you like to, to use, you can hit Maps, hit Search, hit the keyboard, and at this point you could type a location in, uh, so your home address, anything like that. And then if you just hit Go, it'll give you the directions like you normally would. And then any other app on here basically works the same. So if you download Waze or Google Maps, whatever you want to, whatever you prefer, it'll be the next one that pops up on your on your screen here. And then you can use it almost the same way. The interfaces for navigation apps on Apple CarPlay are very similar. Okay, so here you have your Sport Mode button. So if you click on Sport, from here on the dash, it'll say Sport On. And then what Sport does is it enhances. Uh, throttle and engine responsiveness to give you more power. It also enhances things like handling so your steering will feel more responsive too. Okay, so for the trunk you have your 60-40 split rear back seats. So if you just pull on this lever forward here and then you go to your back seats. At this point you can just pull your seats down, all the way down. Same thing for the other side.